Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Thanks for watching today. Um, today I'm going to be going over a really old school trick of how to actually transfer um, graphics and mirror match them to the other side of a vehicle. Um, it's probably the one of the cheapest and easiest ways to go about if you need to, um, like I said, mirror a graphic from one side to the other. Um, there's only, it's really, really easy. And it's, like I said, it's cheap because you only need a few things to do it. Um, obviously you need some type of masking paper and this, I am using a 36 inch, um, to cover the whole side of the truck because the graphics are pretty much on the whole side. Um, and they're pretty wide. So you need that 36 inch to cover all this. Um, you need a pounce wheel, some chalk and either a Sharpie like I'm using or you need some lead graphite. Um, that way it can, you can, like in this video, I am actually using a Sharpie and I am tracing on the inner edges of the graphic. Um, a lot of guys like to use like lead graphic chalk um, to actually pick up those um, fine lines um, just by smearing that uh, piece of graphite chalk alongside of it, um, which it's a little bit easier to do it that way because you know, um, exactly where it is rather than drawing it on like I am because you have to be really really precise when you start drawing um, or tracing um, usually with that lead you can just smear it on there and it'll show up exactly where it's at so you just got to take a little bit more time if you're going to go through the drawing method of this like I am doing in this video but this is a method that will get you pretty close um, side to side comparisons once you start laying everything out um, if you're new to this, or if you haven't seen this, it's a pretty old school trick. Um, like here, I'm actually done with the drawing, um, and I'm going through everything with a pounce wheel. Um, a pounce wheel is just kind of like a little utensil that has little spikes on the end of it. When you roll it, it just punches holes, um, in the paper, um, as you go along. So you really want to be taking your time doing this. Um, and get it as precise as possible. Um, you really can't screw this up until you go taping on it. And, you know, you, you still have to do your due diligence and measure things out. Uh, make sure it is act actually correct from side to side once you start um, laying down that fine line. You still want to double check your work. It's not 100% uh, proven proof that it's going to be exactly the same. So, you do want to take that extra step and just, like I said, do your due diligence and make sure everything is measuring out from side to side. Um, in this video, you won't see me doing that, but I do do that after I start laying some of the fine line down. Um, just to double check my work and make sure that everything needs to be where it's at because um, even though it's chalk, you know, you might smear it. Um, it's not going to hurt the vehicle or the paint or anything like that because it will wipe right off. But you do have that um, issue where if you're laying fine line that you might actually um, wipe it off with your fingers. So always go back through and check your work. Um, and yeah, just make sure everything is as close as possible. Um, I'm cutting on the inside of the... Um, actually, I'm sorry. I drew on the inside of the fine line. So I'm cutting on the outside of this right now is what you're seeing. Um, that way, when I lay the fine line down, I can actually lay the fine line exactly where it needs to be. Um, and that way, it's got the same width from side to side. And now I am just taping this up. And pretty much, you're just going to flip it over um, and get it nice and tight, as good as possible alongside um, the vehicle. Um, another thing that I like to do before I use the uh, get it to where it's pounced out one of my first first things I do is actually um, before I start tracing out any graphic I'll actually make reference points like on this one I made reference points between the fender and the door gap and the rear door and the the cab corner and then the cab from the bed um, that way when I lay this back on and I flipped it over I know exactly where those reference points are. Um, so you want to keep that in mind. You want to make little marks um, while you're doing this to actually get it to where it needs to be. Um, and then you won't have any issues that way. So I've got it laid out and everything. Um, right now I'm going through with the chalk. The chalk is just chalk. It's nothing really spectacular. You just go on there and kind of smear it 
and it will leave these little dots behind. Um, and that those little dots, you just want to use your tape and fine line and fine line over those exactly where it needs to be. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, um, pretty straightforward. So um, you'll see at the end here what it looks like. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. I'll be glad to answer them.